What's up folks, welcome to 802 Garage, your home to endless project cars, as well as tool reviews and deals, and really just automotive content in general. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about 10 tools from Harbor Freight that you didn't know you needed that are each less than $10. Well, they're right around $10, some are a little bit more, some are a little bit less, but this video just kinda of fell into my lap because I was making a Harbor Freight order, and I realized I had ordered 10 things, and the total was right around $100. So, really the video idea just made sense. I didn't even realize you could get a lot of these things so cheap, they're definitely stuff I've been needing and I think a lot of you will appreciate it as well. My total actually would have been around $115, but thanks to Harbor Freight Coupon Database and Honey, I was able to get it down to $85 and that's shipped with tax. So really on average, these things are only like $8.50 a piece, which is pretty awesome. I'll give you a little more details on how to get those discounts at the end and know this video is not sponsored in any way. It's just tips I know that work. So let's get to the stuff. Oh, kind of a jumbled mess in here. So first up here, we have the nine piece polished combination wrench set. And I know what you're thinking, Aaron, I know that I need wrenches. That's really, really basic. Yeah, I understand that. I have two sets of wrenches as well. But what's really nice about this is that it goes all the way up to a 19. And I did not have any 19 millimeter wrenches. The biggest I had was 17 and I need a 19 all the time. And it also includes an eight, which is super useful because that's great for like brake caliper fittings, smaller items like that. And you definitely need an eight sometimes. It includes a seven, which I don't think I'd ever use. And it is metric and it skips 15 and 18. So it's not ideal for maybe like Ford. And if you need SAE, obviously that's an option, but come on, metric master race, you know what I'm saying? So the really awesome thing about this is it includes a 19 and buying it was actually cheaper or about the same price as just buying a single 19 millimeter wrench. This was only $7.99. It was actually $6.39 with a discount. So super, super cheap and they're just useful. Oh, and that is item number 42305, by the way. Next up we have another set of wrenches, except these are offset box wrenches, which is really cool because basically you can see how at the end here it bends. And so what these are really useful for is when you need to get around something like a brake caliper bleeder bolt, if it's inset inside of some ribbing on the caliper, or I really needed one recently when I was trying to get rear Subaru strut bolts because trying to get around basically the various parts of the knuckle and the hub can be a real pain and having this is gonna make your life so much easier. Additionally, sometimes you really just need two wrenches. So combine this with this and that way you can hold on to the nut with one side and use this on the other. So really just gonna be super useful. It covers a ton of sizes because they are double-sided. goes all the way down from six up to 22 and the 19 and 22, especially on here, are gonna be super useful for me. Normally these are $16.99, but I actually only paid $13.59 with a coupon. So pretty worth it, I think. Item number 32042. Those are just one of those things that when you need them, that's what you need. And it's an affordable set. You're not gonna get one with a standard carry around tool set. Maybe if you bought like a big chest full of all the tools, you get a set of those. But obviously if you're shopping at Harbor Freight in the budget section, probably not get one of those. Up next we have, surprise, surprise, some more wrenches. And these are a set of wrenches that I've avoided buying because I'm always like, ah, nah, I can get it with what I have. And then I end up rounding off some nuts and using a vice grip. And it's really just not that great of a time. So I finally bought a set. Item number 68866. And these are double end flare nut wrenches. So obviously, as you can see, they are not continuous. And basically you can put these around, you know, say a brake line or any kind of hydraulic line and then put them onto the fastener to turn it uh, because, you know, you can't get a full box and like that through a piece of metal. So these are really just to help you not round off fittings and to you know get around things like O2 sensors, that style of connection. They're really just gonna save you a lot of time. If you don't round one fastener, that could save you 10 minutes, it could save you an hour, who knows? And for the price, these are super useful. They're also normally $16.99, but I only paid $13.59 with a coupon. And because they are double-sided, they cover a ton of sizes from six to 22 again. So just Really an awesome set that everybody should have. And for the minuscule price, like it's worth having them in your toolbox instead of avoiding them because you already have tools that do a similar job. So I'm psyched to have those. Oh, and obviously those come in an SAE as well. If you need it, all of these do, but metric is the way to go. Next up, this is another tool I avoided buying, sneak peek, for years which is a pry bar set. And I don't know why I avoided buying these for so long. I did look at a set at Walmart as well, but finally these came up and they just made sense. This is item number 01654. They're normally $11.99. I paid $9.59 with a coupon. So again, a little under 10 bucks. It's a set of four various sizes. I've always had a whole bunch of objects around in the garage that are similar to pry bars that I use as pry bars, but I never just bit the bullet and bought a set of pry bars. So I'm gonna be so happy to have these. I mean, obviously, oh, they actually look a lot nicer than I expected. Check this out. 
But, uh, I, you know, this is just the sort of thing you can use them to check ball joints. You can use them to, you know, check all your suspension bushings or just in general, if something will not come out and you need to pry it, you know, you're jostling off that transmission, whatever it is. And I would have liked to get some pry bars that had a full tang. So, you know, you can hammer on them really hard. But uh, these have really good ratings, no complaints about them. And I, I like the nice, like, sort of durable, rugged finish look on them. So, yeah, very happy to have these, especially for under 10 bucks. We got medium, we got the big one, and then we got two much smaller sizes. Uh, but, you know, this little thing, one of those things that when you really just need a little pry bar, you're going to be so happy you have that. So, really excited that I finally bought some pry bars like a normal person. All right, and next up, I've got a titanium nitride high speed drill bit set 13 pieces, item number 1800. And really the reason I bought these is because they are a hex shank. So these are just really easy to insert into my cordless drills. Uh, I can, instead of actually having to use them with the drills with the chuck, I can just insert these into the quick release collet. And you know, especially for drilling through something like plastic or wood or whatever, it's a real pain to go through all your drill bits and you know, find the right size and put it into the chuck. When if I'm already using one of my little hex impacts, I can just, you know, swap out the bit real quick throw one of these in, done, swap it back. And it's just basically a quick time saver and they were very affordable. These are normally $6.99 and they were only $4.99 with a coupon. So I saved a couple bucks there, but really, I mean, five bucks for 13 drill bits. Sometimes people complain that these are not perfectly centered. Uh, you know, they're, they're a value engineered product, but even if a couple of these are no good for the price I paid, like you know, legit, and it should drill some metal as well. Next, we have a Harbor Freight Classic, just the six piece wire cup and wheel set. And I just go through a lot of these. Uh, I'll be honest with you. If I bought more expensive ones, maybe they would last a lot longer, but these typically last okay. It's just that I'm very hard on them when I'm using them, usually in pneumatic tools. And uh, I just can't have enough of these around. So anytime I make an order from Harbor Freight, I pretty much throw some of these in because if you're gonna pay shipping anyway, you might as well, or if you're there. These are normally only $4.99, but I only paid $2.99 with a coupon. So for three bucks, you know, you really can't go wrong. Next is something I've wanted for a while. Oh, these feel heavy duty, but I couldn't really find a good price on, and these are solid rubber wheel chocks. These are item number 96479, and the nice things about these being rubber is that you're not as likely to basically break them when you're using them, shall we say. So I recently had some of the plastic ones from Walmart, which are fairly affordable as well, but if you run them over once, they break into a million pieces and they're done. And a lot of time I forget my wheel chocks and these look like they do a better job of stopping the car from rolling as well. They have these nice little handles. They're definitely some heavy duty rubber and these were on sale. They're normally $7.99 a piece, but I only paid $4.99 a piece with a coupon. So pretty psyched about that. Just under 10 bucks for two pretty heavy duty wheel chocks. And really, I just think everybody should have a set of these for safety, you know, if not four of them, really, I have a few more around. Whenever you're working on a car, if you have it jacked up, especially if you don't have a working emergency brake, it's just a great idea to throw some of those underneath the wheels so that you have less of a chance of the car rolling off and crushing you. Buying them is one thing, but definitely remember to use them, everybody. Really cheap at only five bucks a piece. All right, we're getting near the end here, but next up is another one that I just avoided buying for far too long, and it is a heat gun. This is the 1500 watt dual temperature. This is a bare bones bottom dollar heat gun. All it's supposed to do is put out some heat, and this is the cheapest one that you can buy as far as I can tell. But you know what? As long as it can put out some heat just to do some heat shrink connectors or some heat shrink tubing, or even just to warm up some plastic so you can deform it, do you really need an $80 digital adjustment cordless heat gun with laser aiming and you know a scope so that you can uh, hit the fly across no this will do this will do and the best part is that this is only $9.97 and I only paid $7.98 because I found a 20% off coupon for a heat gun so I paid less than eight bucks for a heat gun. Pretty awesome because, you know, using a lighter when I burn up the heat shrink connectors and they were this nice pretty plastic and now they're kind of smoky, not the best look. So this is going to make me feel a little more professional even if nobody else cares. Oh, and this was item number 63104. Really cheap heat gun, but good reviews. The few times that they fail, they're so cheap you can replace it. That's the nice thing about buying a really cheap tool, easy to replace. And if it's not something, you know, you're relying on to get a job done, like a heat gun, it's not such a big deal. Save the $50 for a nicer heat gun and put it into a really nice set of wrenches that will actually help you get a job finished instead of just doing the little nice finishing work on some electronics. So next up, we have the item that you got a sneak peek of, and that is just some basic 
mechanic gloves. These are item number 62434 in a medium. My hands are not that large. A lot of gloves fit me like crap, honestly. Let's see how these are. And I'll be completely honest with you, because we all know these are a value product. These fit me nicer than most mechanic gloves I've had. So if if you've you know had some of the mechanics brand medium gloves, these fit about like that, maybe ever so slightly smaller. But yeah, I I I mean who knows how they're gonna hold up, but I like that. And the truth is I've had a couple sets of mechanic gloves that I've been using for ages and they have a bunch of holes in them and they're useless and I was sick of it. So I wanted to get a new pair and these these are basically the cheapest option you have. Mechanics gloves are supply, su surprisingly expensive. The good thing about these is they were only $5.99 and I actually got a dollar off coupon, so they were only $4.99. So five bucks a pair, if I put a couple holes in them, I won't cry about it. Whereas there are some $20 mechanic gloves out there that if you, you know, put a hole in them with a grinder or a welder, you're gonna be a little bit upset. And lastly, we have a classic. There's also some foreshadowing up here. The six inch magnetic parts holder. I don't really need to unbox this because we already got some hanging out up here, but basically I get one of these anytime I go to Harbor Freight too, because it turns out I can never have enough of them. I leave one on top of a tool bench anytime I'm working on a car and I have bolts from a certain suspension area on the car that I want to keep together, I throw them in one of these trays and put it aside. Sometimes that gets left aside for months on end, but at least all those bolts are in the same place when I come back. They're also just useful for general cleanup. And normally these are $3.99 a piece. They are item number 97825, but using a coupon you can use usually get a free gift with your order. So this is the free gift that I usually go for. I think it's a better deal than the crappy flashlights that need batteries anyways and break or some of your other options. So yeah, just love having these things around. If you don't have them, get some, they're real useful. They stick to cabinets real easy like that, as you can see. So I'm just a big fan and I believe that's it. Heat gun down. Yep, that's all. And, uh, there you have it folks, my Harbor Freight order. And this is a whole bunch of tools, 10 tools, including that, that you can get for under $100. And like I said, normally this would have cost me $115.39. The box just moved and scared me. But uh, it only cost me $85.94, which means I saved $29.45 using coupons and discount codes. And so that's really awesome. When you think average of $8.50 a piece for each of these tools, I can't think of any one of these things that isn't worth $8.50 except maybe the parts tray. And so really that's just what Harbor Freight is great for. Another note on these mechanic gloves, right now it's really hard to get rubber gloves, of course, because of some virus going around or whatever. And so these are reusable. And since you're a mechanic and you're not fighting off pathogens, you're just fighting off grease and busting up your knuckles, get you some of these and you know, leave the medical professionals the rubber gloves or whatnot. Lastly, I know I said I would give you all a little insight into how exactly to get the discounts on these products. And so I used a website called Harbor Freight Coupon Database, hfqpdb.com, I believe. And all that it is is people who submit coupons and they are for everything at Harbor Freight. So you can go there, see all the newest coupons, get a 20% off for a single item coupon, which you can totally use on stuff like this. You can get all the free item coupons. And basically, if you want something specific, use the item number and type it in there and see if there is a coupon for it or see past expired coupons even so that you know what to look for as a price in the future. Uh, or just generally look for something like wrenches, pry bars, drill bits, and you'll get a whole bunch of coupons so that you can pick from the items they have that are on sale to get a really good deal. So Harbor Freight Coupon Database, totally awesome. I will put a link to that in the description. I will also, of course, put a link to each of these products just so it's easy for you to find them, but I don't get any money from that. If you click those links, they just bring you to Harbor Freight, just sharing good deals with y'all. The other way I helped save some money was actually using Honey, the browser add-on. I'm sure you've all heard of it and seen ads for it. There are other add-ons that you can use like Wikibuy, Retail Me Not, Slick Deals. So just after you've gotten your coupons from the Harbor Freight Coupon Database or do it first, whichever way you want, use some of those add-ons and see if they can find some more coupons for you because I actually saved probably an extra, I'd say eight to $10 using those add-ons over what I could find on the Harbor Freight coupon database. And that's how I got such a great deal. Only 85 bucks shipped with tax for all this awesome stuff that's really gonna help me out in the garage. That said, thank you so much everyone for watching 802 Garage. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and let me know down in the comments if you're going to buy any of the tools that I talked about today. Also, let me know if there are any particularly good deals you think everyone should get for Harbor Freight or any tools they should definitely avoid. I'm thinking of you locking jaw pliers. Please subscribe if you're into tool deals like this or tool content in general, or if you're just into cars and really like project cars because I have plenty of that content coming. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all very soon.